So we recently got invited to the Salesforce Analytics API pilot, um, which allows programmatic access to uh, reports that are built using the kind of standard Salesforce reporting UI. Um, and we can get some information uh, about those reports, the, the records that they're returning um, via a really nice API. And so we've been playing around um, with it a little bit, trying to give Salesforce some feedback, um, as well as just seeing what's, what's possible. Um, so I was actually looking into kind of some reporting uh, frameworks or, or dashboard frameworks, and I came across Dashing, um, which was put together by the Shopify team and then open sourced. Um, it's a Sinatra web app, um, basically for creating really rich dashboards. And so the, the Shopify ops team use it uh, running on a bunch of the TVs in their kind of data center, uh, giving kind of just a brief overview of everything that's going on in the system. So you can see really, really nice um, dashboard here, cool charts, um, obviously something that, that's really, really cool. So I thought I would maybe combine these two, um, put together a quick little dashing app, um, leveraging the Salesforce Analytics API, um, and, and see what's possible there. So I created an app and it's running currently on Heroku. Um, here we can see it right now. I've got uh, just six widgets or five widgets. Support cases open today, support cases closed today, all open GSO cases, uh, pseudo chatter feed here, um, and then support cases by owner. Um, so all of this would be possible before the analytics API. It's, it's really just getting data from Salesforce and rendering a report, so that's not too exciting, although I will say that this dashing app makes things a little bit cooler. Um, one thing that I like that is not maybe that beneficial, but you can actually drag these widgets around, reorder them, do anything you want uh, that way. Um, but what makes the Analytics API so powerful is if we go into uh, Salesforce and look at the reports, here are those four source reports that are showing up on those widgets. So you see all open GSO cases. We have the support cases open and closed today and support cases by owner. Uh, if we drill into one of those reports, um, sure enough, we have all open GSO cases. We're just filtering closed as false. And we, uh, we see those 47 records that are uh, being rendered right there. In fact, my data might be a little bit stale if I rerun this report. Um, we should get that down to, to 46. It looks like I closed the case um, sometime in the middle of this demo. So it's, it's real time um, updating that information. I can, uh, I can demo this by, if I just open up the cases tab, um, or actually I'm going to save some time. I have a couple little utility scripts here uh, using Workbench. I'm just going to go ahead and create uh, create some additional cases here. So here you can see I'm just going to try to create 10 cases. So again, uh, we only have 10 open support cases open today and 46 uh, cases for any, any record type. So I can run this code. Looks like it ran successfully. Wait for this to refresh. I have it refreshing every uh, 15 seconds, which might be a little bit fast. Uh, here you can see that went up to 20, that went up to 56. Uh, not sure what the governor limits are on this analytics API. I think I found a couple in testing and not sure if that's going to be the same in, in production. Um, but I just wanted to, to kind of increase the speed for the purposes of this demo. So you can see it's updating in real time. 
Uh, the really, really powerful thing uh, about the Analytics API is you can change and modify the report definitions and the data is returned again in a programmatic way so that you can uh, adapt to those changes. So you'll see I have support cases by owner uh, set up right here, which looking in the Salesforce UI points to this particular report where you can see it's just a summary report. I have a, a record type filter um, and I have a case owner. Uh, if I want to actually change some things about this report, let's go ahead and customize it. Um, and maybe instead of being um, by owner, maybe we can look at this by status instead. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that report grouping just a little bit. I'm going to remove this owner grouping and have status. And then I'm actually going to save this. Um, and I'm actually going to change the name because it's no longer by owner, it's more by status. I'm keeping the report unique name the same. Um, that's actually how that Sinatra app is dynamically getting this report, so we don't want to change that. Um, but I'm just going to change the name and change the, uh, the definition there. So it's grouping again by status and not by owner. So I'll run this in the Salesforce UI just to see kind of what that, what that data looks like. I can see 31 are new and 25 are closed. If we go back to our Sinatra app, um, again, we're gonna have to give this a couple seconds. We can see the title has changed uh, support cases by status, that's the report name, and we have the, the statuses that we just saw right there. So any of these widgets could be customized in that same way, dynamically updated in real time. I think there's a lot of really, really cool stuff um, that we could do with this analytics API. Um, so I'm really excited to see uh, possibilities. Uh, this was just kind of a, a little bit of a weekend project. Uh, pretty straightforward to put together. I can also link to uh, the, the project on GitHub. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts.